it's the next morning. And I uh, soaked those pieces in uh, cactus juice. I did, I did the vacuum process yesterday and uh, left them under vacuum for about two hours. And they've been overnight now absorbing just the uh, cactus juice, just at ordinary atmosphere pressure, which is only about 15 pounds per square inch. I, I didn't do the uh, pressure, pressure pot thing mainly because I don't have enough room in the pressure pot to get all of them in there. There's about six or eight that I did. Uh, there's a couple of things that I didn't mention yesterday that I've done before in the past. Now I've got a product similar to Alumilite. It's called Envirotex Light. I've used it before. It, it's, it's very similar to Alumilite. What I like about this is uh, that it has a very long working time about an hour and then it starts getting thick now the bad part about it is it takes about two or three days to completely cure so it's you know that's the downside uh, I've also got a product called pentacryl and what you do is you take your green wood the greener it is the fresher it is off the uh, tree so to speak the better it works and I did a video on this stuff too uh, it, it, it actually works quite well but it does change the color of the wood. It darkens it. Uh, anyway, I've had my toaster oven plugged in for about an hour and uh, it's about 200 degrees, which is perfect. And uh, let's just get these uh, pieces wrapped up. Oh, one more thing I want to mention. One of the viewers had an excellent idea and I never thought of it. And I don't know why I never thought of it before. He said, can you do it again? In other words, the cactus juice thing. Like in other words, let's say I take it out and there's still a, a, a crack there. You know, can I redo it and redo it and redo it until eventually you've got the crack filled up. In other words, the inside of the crack will, will coat itself with the uh, crystallized or the cured cactus juice and eventually there won't be any more crack. I don't know. I'm going to try it with one of those pieces. I'll take the worst one because I know that there's going to be still voids. I'm going to take the worst one and see if I can do it. See how many times it, uh, you know, I can, it would take until it, uh, there's no more crack. Um, I know it's not the same as, the, as, as doing this just once. You might have to do that five times. Uh, you do this process with this or a Lumilite or something like that, you'll only be doing it the one time. Uh, anyway, let's get on with it. Let's get those wrapped up and uh, uh, get them in the toaster oven and uh, see what we got and uh, about this thing the jury's still out it feels good when I'm on it it looks good when I'm off of it the getting on and off it's like I told one of the viewers it's sort of like watching an elephant a circus elephant get up onto one of those big round balls and balancing himself it takes a long time I'm not going to show you me trying to get off anyway Let's get at it. Now I'm noticing that these pieces are not floating to the surface. So clearly, once again, the uh, cactus juice has... Uh, you notice I can't talk and work at the same time? Okay, now I don't want to let uh, too much of that stuff drain out of the cracks. Maybe I didn't need a piece quite this big. Okay, and be careful not to let it uh, let it break. Sometimes when I fold the uh, tin foil up, it, it breaks on me here, it cracks. And of course it's going to drain out. So I'll squeeze it together good on the ends because that's where it's going to drain out. Okay, I'll just do that 11 more times. Just because I'm putting my fingers in it doesn't mean you should. It could be harmful, but I don't think so. Getting squeeze together really good. Help trap that in there. And the last one. Now you may have noticed that I didn't let these drain. I think I might have mentioned 
I want to have as much cactus juice as possible in the void. Now there's something I want to make really clear here. I don't want to mislead people. The cactus juice is not designed for filling cracks. It's designed for stabilizing soft, spongy, or porous wood. Cracks, it'll just flow out of, or more or less. I'm just sort of hoping for the best here. This is probably not going to work too well. Okay, now I have my thermometer at the front here so I can keep an eye on it. And we'll stick them in the oven. Now most of you will know that I like to be completely honest in my workshop videos. I don't like to make things look like they're better than they really are. If things aren't going well, I like to show them. And I noticed that about five minutes later, my little timer said 12 o'clock still. The battery was dead. Normally, I would pour this back right now, except I'm planning on using it again, so I'm going to leave everything out. The vacuum pump, everything, just leave it all out and uh, yeah, and maybe in a couple hours I'll be doing the vacuum thing all over again. In fact, I'm sure I will. Like I say, I'm going to pick out the worst one and redo it. And redo it again if I have to. See what happens. Thank you, Roger. It's not two o'clock, but it is two hours ago approximately that I put those in the toaster oven. And the reason I left them in a little longer than recommended is because some of those pieces were fairly large. So anyway, I think it's time to take them out. Well, let's see what we got. Oh, maybe I should get my little knife going here. Make, make it easier. As I've said before, sometimes these come off good and sometimes they don't. Every time I figure out uh, why it is they don't come off good, the next time I'll do it exactly the same way and they'll come off good. So there's no rhyme or reason to it. Yeah, i got to get my knife. I was just thinking of something here. I wonder if I was to wipe something on the uh, aluminum wrap before I put them on, something like Pam. I'm going to try that next time. Well, these don't have to be perfect. Okay, I, mean, I don't think you can see it too good, but there's quite a void there still. Now the little cracks, they will have been sealed, the very tiny ones. But the bigger ones like this one right here, the cactus juice will have just flowed right out, which it did. Anyway, I'll finish doing these and uh, we'll take a close look. This is going to take a while, I can tell. Okay, a little tip here. I'm finding that if after I get the ends torn off, if, and this, I suppose it's not going to work now because I'm showing you, but if I cut right down here and cut through all the layers and then try and grab a whole bunch at the same time, oh sure, it's not going to work. Yeah, well, it was a, oh yeah, there we go. If you peel off several layers of uh, the aluminum wrap all at the same time, you can have better results. Now, I know you probably don't believe me, but the one I did just before this one, that system worked really, really good, and I thought, hey, I'm onto something. Well, like I said, every time I think I got it figured out, I find out I'm wrong. Okay, we're almost done. One more to go after this one. These two here, they're pretty good. I think I can probably drill those out and uh, maybe even turn them yet today. We'll see how it goes. However, the rest all have very noticeable cracks still. There was one actually that had a fairly big crack and it looked like it was filled. 
Uh, can't remember which one it was, probably on the other side now. Maybe it's this one right there. Anyway, uh, I figure as long as I'm going to do one, I may as well do the all ten of them. It's almost as easy. And uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes. Well, there's a couple of things that are interesting. First of all, I didn't have to use the weights to hold them down this time. And once the vacuum starts, any air that's left in those larger voids is going to almost instantly come out. And for sure they won't float then, so I don't need to worry about them coming to the surface. Another thing I think we're going to notice, and I'm going to make a prediction, is uh, when we're at maximum vacuum, it's going to remove the air a lot faster. It'll bubble violently at first, and then I think it's going to go down very quickly. So anyway, let's see. Now that was about 10 minutes altogether, and I know there were still bubbles coming out. Well, that was from the more porous material, and I'm not worried about the porous material because the porous material in that wood was already pretty dense, and I'm worried about those large cracks, and I'm pretty sure that the air got sucked out of them almost right away. So we'll just let it sit now for about an hour. It doesn't have to sit overnight, and then we'll put them back in the oven, and we'll just see if there's any improvement. Okay, let's see if that makes any difference. And the last one. Let's see if that cooking oil helped. I just took them out about, oh, not even five minutes ago, so they're still kind of hot. Oh, yeah. I'm going to just try this. Go like this. Look at that. What a difference. Rip off the ends. Slice it down the middle. Oh yeah, I should have thought of that before, they're almost falling out. That's it. Now while it is true that if I do this a third time it'll probably improve any of the larger cracks. Uh, the smaller cracks I'm convinced are sealed up. However, I can always get more of this apple tree wood if I want it. My brother-in-law only lives about a five minute drive from here.
I realized that I could do the barrel trimmer thing, and I could probably turn one or two of those down tonight, but I'd be forcing myself. And once I start forcing myself, then it becomes work. Then it's not fun anymore. And I like to sort of keep this my playroom, not my workshop. Anyway, that's it for today. It's getting kind of late. Thanks for watching.